Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the Ubiquiti Unify Ultra Switch. This is a fairly new switch from Unify and it's got three variants and it's one that I think is gonna do really well. So we're gonna go through the specs and then we'll take a look at it and see what it's got to offer. Okay, so I'm on the Ubiquiti store and I'm in switches. And if I just scroll down a little bit, you'll see the ultras here. So we've got an ultra and we've got an ultra 210 watts. And then down the bottom, we've got the ultra 60 watts. So if I just start on this ultra here, this is the first one. So this one, you can think of this a little bit like a flex switch. So basically it's PoE powered and it's also able to provide PoE. Now you can use either PoE Plus or PoE Plus Plus, and which one you use will depend how much power you get from it. So you've got 16 watts for PoE Plus and 42 watts for PoE Plus Plus, and you can get that power either from like a PoE injector or adapter like this, or using a PoE switch. And if we look at this, you can see that the feed for that comes into the back of the switch, which is quite clever really. So there's only seven ports on the front and then there's one port, so the eighth, eighth port is on the back there and that's where the power would come over the ethernet into the back of the switch to power it. It's got four ports PoE. These last three ports are not PoE, so they could be used for things like uh, you know, games consoles, computers, whatever you need a connection for, but you don't need PoE. The rest can be used for things like cameras, access points, VoIP phones, whatever you, could, you need PoE for. Um, the switch is pretty similar to the Flex, as I said, is actually exactly the same price. So it's £94.80, which is really reasonable. I think we're gonna use this a lot in places like lofts or outbuildings where we haven't got mains power and we can just take a data feed straight into it and then power that switch. So I'll just make a quick comparison to the Flex switch. So the Flex switch is exactly the same price, £94.80. You get a little bit more power, uh, bang for your buck on the PoE, and that's just because it takes less power to run this switch. So you get 46 watts rather than 42 and uh, 20 watts rather than 16. This can also use just standard PoE, whereas the um, Ultra Con, it's, it has to be PoE Plus at least. The only other difference apart from the number of ports is that the flex switch is suitable for outdoor use. So the Ultra you would have to put in a weatherproof box if you did want to use it outdoors. Okay, so that's the standard Ultra. The next one we're going to look at is the 60 watt. So this is 60 watt version. The switch itself is exactly the same. There's no difference on the switch. The only difference is that you get the uh, power adapter with it. I'm not really sure that we would ever use the 60 watt model. And the reason being that because it's almost identical to the Light 8. So it's 52 watts of power on that, 52 watts of power on this. Um, it's got four ports PoE, which the other one has as well. The Ultra 60 watts got as well. Um, and from looking at the specs, it's identical. The only difference that I can see is this is 10440, whereas the Ultra 60 watt is an extra 30 pounds and 40 pence. So it's quite a bit more expensive. I might be missing something here, but I can't see why you would use the switch over the Light 8. The other thing, because this new switch is sold out. In fact, everything is sold out at the moment. All these switches are sold out because Ubiquiti have absolutely zero stock of anything at the moment. Um, it really does feel like we're still in COVID. Okay, so that's the 60 watt. Let's look at the 210. So this 210, but actually it's got 202 watts of PoE. This switch is the one that I think we will use the most because this has been kind of missing from Ubiquiti's lineup. The last sort of eight port switch to have significant power was the US8150. That was a great switch, but that has now been discontinued, presumably so the Ultra 210 can take over. You can also get the Enterprise eight port PoE. That's uh, got 120 watts power, but it's significantly more expensive. It's a much more capable switch. So the Ultra, wherever I put it, Ultra 210 is a really nice switch. It's gonna give you, um, you know, that, that time when you wanna get eight devices straight off, the, or seven devices straight off this switch, you can run it, um, you can run them all with no problems. You're not gonna to have to think about the PoE budget. The, on the uh, mains powered switches, the port at the back can be the uplink. So essentially that can be your uh, connection back to the network, and then the front seven can be your PoE devices. So that's the 210 watts. So all of them um, covered there. Let's get on to having a look at the switch itself. Okay, so this is the Ultra Switch. It's a really nice looking product like you would expect from Ubiquiti. It's, um, it's pretty small as well. It's a very, very small little device. 
it's got a um, the uplink on the back so that is where either you put your just your gigabit connection to the network or if you're using this as just a sort of normal ultra switch this is where the PoE plus or PoE plus plus would come in and then on the other side it's got the adapter um, adapter bit for that this I've checked this, although this is the 210 watt version, you can still use this as just a normal ultra. So the actual switch itself hasn't changed at all. It's exactly the same. On the front, you've got seven ports. So there's an eight port switch, but that one's obviously port eight. And on this one, on the 210, all of these would be PoE Plus capable. You've got status light there, real reset button. And then on the back here, you've got uh, where the bracket goes. So you can either just sit it on these little feet or you can use the bracket, which is here. Oh, I've got the screws on that as well. So that's the bracket, just obviously slides in there. It gives you a nice flush mount on it. As you just saw, you get some little screws with it as well. So you can put those, uh, you can mount it. So that switch, really nice. And if you're buying just the ultra switch, that's all you're gonna get. If you get the 60 watt or the uh, 210 watts, which is one I've got here, then you get the power pack. The power pack. Now this is pretty big. This is the power pack for the 210 watts. So let's put that on top of the switch. It's actually almost the same size as the switch. It's considerably heavier. This is a really heavy piece of kit. It's got no mounting bracket on at all, which I think is a little bit annoying actually, because you've got a really nice, flush mountable switch and then you've got this absolutely enormous power pack which you can't flush mount the only same grace is that they give you quite a generous lead on it so you don't have to have it right next to the switch which is uh, which is great i suppose though if you're going to have a switch that has got three different options and the power pack's obviously not built in then you do have to have this big old pack like this so that's my only sort of uh only regret about this switch the other thing you get is the mounting template, which is really useful, and it's got a little uh, level on it, which you can put on either side, depending which way you're going to orientate it. And you obviously also get the standard kind of quick start guide uh, booklet with it. Okay, so that's the Ultra Switch. Okay, so that pretty much covers the Ultra Switch. It's a really useful device. I think it's going to be very popular, especially at 210 watts. That is, like I said, one that's been missing from Ubiquiti's lineup. I really hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.